welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card is arguments and hurtful words. So you might be having a, a little bit of problems within that relationship that you are in and maybe a lot of hurtful things are being said. So it's very important to watch what you say because, you know, once it's said, it's out there in the ether and you can't take it back. So, you know, just measure your words before you say things. You are romanticizing a little bit about the past too much and there is a need for you to move on don't get stuck in that past so whoever this person is you do have a very good friendship with them in this relationship so it's not only a relationship but it is a very good friendship this also might be mean that a good friendship is also entering your arena at this particular moment so there was a rekindling of love so maybe you've gone back uh, forgiven this person and um you know, started that relationship all over again. But right now you're at a point where you're overreacting and maybe this is why this arguments and hurtful words are coming out over there. So think before saying things and, you know, look at the situation with a clear mind first before you actually, uh, you know, react to it. So you've undergone a lot of spiritual growth over here in this past few months and you will be undergoing more. Uh, but a lot of happiness to come with you, uh, for you a lot of love coming in for you and a lot of spiritual growth to come as well. So whatever you've uh, learned, you've grown, but you will grow further, but also happiness coming in for you. So, you know, try not to allow the drama of things, of everyday, maybe silly things to, to make you upset and say things that you later regret. Think carefully before you say things. Uh, don't be rash when you say things. So like I said, once you say it, you can't take it back. <clears throat> no matter how many times you apologize, it's still out there. So, uh, you know, you don't want to get into that situation. So I'm going to draw some cards from the Romantic Tarot for the main read. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, you've got the Knight of Rods. So it looks like there's some kind of new invitation coming in for you, a new relationship presenting itself. So maybe somebody asking you out on a date or somebody asking you out, um, you know, to go and have some kind of social, um, you know, some kind of entertainment with or go out on a date, go out for dinner, go out and watch a movie, that kind of thing. So it looks like there is that invitation coming out for you there. And it might be a fire sign person because this is the Rods card. And it's a page of Rods, so it could be... Uh, you know, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy coming through over here. But if it's not, then it is some kind of invitation coming in for you. Now, what's happening with you? Uh, it seems like, you know, whatever that relationship you were in, you felt like you put a lot of effort or energy into it. There was a lot of problems in the relationship and you wasted your time because this man is trying to move the stone uh, statue and it's not budging. So if you felt like all the effort and energy was a waste of your time and it didn't pay off. Also, appearances of that relationship was pretty deceptive. Uh, what it appeared to be this nine of uh, swords. She's looking in the mirror at this uh, relationship and it wasn't what it appeared to be. So, it, you know, it wasn't based on, on truth or reality. It, maybe it was a bit of unrealistic. Uh, maybe there was a lot of lies and deception within that relationship, but it definitely caused a lot of anxiety. Maybe it's even caused you to have sleepless nights. Uh, maybe you're trying to get over that uh, situation. So you felt like you wasted your time in this relationship. Maybe you feel like it was a very one-sided relationship. It looks like, you know, you've, you've been spending a lot of time by yourself. So this is the Queen of Swords, the divorcee of the, the tarot. So, you know, you've been through a lot of heartbreak. You, you can see there's a lot of swords in her back. There could have been a legal situation that you went through. So could, this could have been a divorce. And you've been feeling very lonely, very isolated. You've even cut off uh, communication with this particular person. But you're very hurt by it. But, uh, you know, you've, uh, you've sort of isolated yourself even from the, the social, uh, you know, world as well. It seems like, you know, whatever that relationship was, was not you and that person were, were not getting along. You didn't have the same goals in mind. You wanted to focus on career. This person wanted to take things easy. And it seems like you were not on the same page. Uh, and it didn't seem like, you know, it seems like, um, you know, there was that love between the two of you was lost because she doesn't seem to be interested in this man's affection or this little boy's affections rather. So it seems like this is why that relationship has come to its conclusion. 
Now, there's a lot of heartbreak. There could have even been a third-party situation that was involved. You can see there's a big fight over here that went on. Now, the Three of Swords also talks about this legal ending to this case, and this has left you feeling very, very unhappy. So this looks like a divorce that happened uh, because there are two cards of divorce over here, uh, and it looks like they, you know, you're still very, very heartbroken and you're trying to get over this loss that you went through. Uh, you've got that Ten of Swords as well. So, you know, um, you don't want uh, anything to do with this person anymore. This is going into the future. You have decided to cut your losses and move on. And you're not accepting any, maybe any communication from this person. Or you're not accepting any apologies. You're just not accepting anything to do with this person anymore. You've broken up ties completely. Turned your back into the relationship. And it looks like you're walking away from it. Now, uh, you've got the Six of Rods, and it looks like, uh, you know, this is your freedom come to you. So, you were feeling very caged within that relationship, very trapped, and it looks like now you've got your freedom coming in for you. And you're celebrating your freedom as well. So, whatever that relationship was, you know, whatever it appeared to be, it was very restricting for you, and you feel like you've wasted your time in that relationship, wasted all your energy and effort, and now you've got your freedom. And um, this is what you're enjoying at the moment. So, it looks like there's going to be a new relationship, uh, you know, very physical relationship a very sexual relationship presenting itself to you uh, maybe from somebody that you're dating or you know maybe this person coming in for you and you're very attracted to this person and it might start off being a very physical relationship you've got this ace of rods over here um you know it could end up progressing but it looks like that's where it's going to be starting off first you're worried about you know uh, being too dependent on this person and you're worried that you know you might be uh, abandoned by any kind of relationship that you start. You've got that five of pentacles feeling alone, uh, feeling isolated, you know, feeling left out in the cold. So you're worried about being alone, really, uh, with that five of pentacles. So going into the future, you are working hard to manifest a new relationship. And it looks like the Wheel of Fortune is coming in to help you. It's ending old cycles and beginning something brand new and maybe bringing in a relationship for you. Now, you are working very hard to do that. You are focused on, on that particular relationship. You're communicating a lot. It looks like you will be communicating a lot with this particular person as well. And it looks like the Wheel of Fortune will bring in this new relationship with you. It looks like it might be a fire sign person. You've got that King of... Um, uh, rods over here. So somebody who is very much in control, knows what they want, has been through everything, has an idea of self and is very powerful it seems and it looks like you might begin a brand new relationship with this particular person. This is also the uh, a rods card so it looks like it might well be a fire sign person but whatever they are they're very dynamic, they know what they want and they're very comfortable with themselves as well. So it looks like you're letting go of the old and you're going to be moving forward to something brand new. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Archangel Power Tarot. So with the Five of Raphael, everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. The search for a silver lining. So you are walking away from this person. You can see even with that Ten of uh, Swords leaving that particular situation behind and walking away. And everything happened for a reason. Maybe this was the natural conclusion of that particular cycle. You've got the Justice card. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. So you are waiting for some kind of legal decision that will come in and it will be in your favor. So it was a legal situation that you dealt with and you are waiting for the results. This is another three of uh, so it's so waiting for the results of that legal case and it looks like that's going to come in for you as well and then starting brand new again you've got believe in yourself listen to your heart and do what gives you joy so you've got that leap of faith taking that leap of faith and starting something fresh going on your own path so you're going down your own route uh, you and this person seem to have parted ways completely and you're starting off a brand new um, cycle or you're starting off um, you know on your own journey right now so it looks like something is going to be coming in from you, but it's going to be uh, not very, you know, it's going to be, maybe it'll start off as something casual and then end up, it could end up in something long term. But for the moment, I think you are just happy, you know, just to uh, end this old situation that you were involved in and maybe start something brand new. And you are working on that at this particular moment and you will make a brand new start as well. So, you know, things are starting to move forward for you and you are waiting for that legal decision or that legal case to go through. Uh, and it looks like that ruling will be made in your favor as well. So I hope this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.